Are you tired of your 9 to 5 job? You honestly feel like there's no sense of purpose, like there's no purpose in life. You honestly tried everything. You tried drinking coffee, you tried going out on a run in the morning, in the evening, you probably also tried yoga. Then, here's a good news for you. Miracle Mentality, every morning, a devotion just made for you with Pastor Jolly John so that you can have some sense of purpose in life. Just like me. Praise the Lord. Again, God has given us one more new month in our lives. So we are in the second month of 2022. God has been so good in all this month of January. He helped us, strengthened us, provided for us. And we know that the God is same yesterday, today and forever. So the last month, January, He has taken care of us. The same God is going to take care of us in this month also. With that faith, let us read Hebrew chapter 10, verse 38. But my righteous one will live by faith, and I take no pleasure in the one who shrinks back. In other words, the just shall live by faith. So that's what I just want to share with you. When God asked Noah to build an ark, by faith he did it. People would have teased him. People would have ridiculed him. People would have made joke out of him because they did not know what is rain, what is all about, what he was preaching for hundred years. No one gave an ear to Noah's preaching. But at the end of everything, end of everything, we knew that what Noah was preaching, it's fulfilled because he let the rain speak. And of course, the rain spoke. So Noah built an ark. When he was building an ark, there was no one to believe in him or believe in his words except his family. That's what Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 always speaks to us. Faith is a confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Hallelujah. In other words, Living by faith means obeying God and believing that He never let you down. He is a promise keeper, therefore I can trust in Him. And also we have an example from the Bible itself, the ordinary people, those who have done the extraordinary things. By seeing that, by reading that, by understanding that, we know that God will never fail you. Also, we do know that only one currency which the heaven recognized, that is the faith. So today morning, as the Bible says, just shall live by faith. So, make faith a lifestyle. As someone said, faith is taking the first step even when you do not see the whole staircase. So, at the beginning of this month, let you speak the faith and see that things are unfolding in front of you. Hallelujah. As the rain spoke on behalf of Noah, let your faith speak on behalf of you. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We know that when we put our trust, when we put our faith in you, you never fail us. The people, those who have went before us, they proved that, Lord. And we ourselves are the examples that, Lord. Always you kept your promises. You fulfilled your promises in us. So as we begin this month, Lord, help us to keep our focus or fix our eyes upon you, Lord Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. We are committing this day and this month unto thy mighty hand. Help us to live by faith, not by sight. So that, Lord, we will experience new mercies, new kindness, new grace in our lives. And we will move forward in our lives. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Just shall live by faith. So, have a blessed day.